Manual brass valves are sometimes used in irrigation systems when it's impossible to run wire or supply power to the valve location. In this video, we'll show you how to replace and automate these valves to convert a manual zone or system into an automated one. What is a manual irrigation valve? The most common manual valves used in landscape irrigation are brass valves with a cross handle. These can be found underground or above ground. Other manual valve models exist, such as wheel-handled brass gate valves and PVC or bronze ball valves, but we won't cover those here. For this demo, we'll use a Hunter valve with a Hunter node battery-operated controller to quickly automate the zone. Cutting out an old valve. First, turn off the water to the system. If the valve is in the ground, you'll likely need to excavate the valve box to create enough space to work. If the valve is above ground, you may want to dig down to the fittings and use new pipe risers to install the valve. Cut out the old valve. Installing a new valve. Prep the pipe and fittings for the installation of the new valve. Attach the valve using the proper PVC fittings. It's important to use the proper primer and solvent for the type of pipe you are working with. If you're unsure, talk to your local Hunter distributor. You'll notice that we used purple primer on these joints, which can aid in the visual inspection, confirming that primer was used. Give the fitting a quarter turn and hold it in place for 15 to 30 seconds to prevent the joint from pushing apart. A best practice is to wipe away the excess solvent at the joint, as it will continue to dissolve the PVC and could weaken the joint. In this scenario, the distance between the inlet and outlet of the new PGV ASV valve is wider than the old manual brass valve, so we're going to use two 45 degree elbows to compensate for this difference. Dry fitting your connections before welding can avoid mistakes. Note. Allow for differences between dry fit and wet fit. The solvent will act as a lubricant and allow for a deeper insertion of pipe into the fitting. Installing a node controller. Once connected, Install a node battery-operated controller to automate the valve. The node is available as a button-based controller. If you prefer the convenience of programming from your smartphone, opt for the Hunter Node BT Bluetooth battery-operated controller. The Node BT controller comes with a DC solenoid that has one black wire and one red wire. Remove the existing AC solenoid that has two red wires from the old valve and save it in a repair parts bin. Next, thread in the new DC solenoid. Add batteries into the Node BT controller. It comes with a mounting clip that attaches to the solenoid to keep it out of the dirt. To complete the retrofit, use the Node BT controller app to quickly program the controller. Download it for free from the App Store or Google Play. The customer now has automatic control. To ensure uninterrupted operation, the Node BT can send an annual reminder to change the batteries. In addition, the controller face pack offers easy on and off functionality, 
making it a user-friendly homeowner and professional solution. Converting an old manual valve system into an automated one can increase efficiency and save time for your customers. No two projects will be alike, and it may take some creativity to figure out the best way to complete the changeover. Luckily, you now have the foundational knowledge to tackle the challenge. To learn more about our complete line of industry-leading valves for residential and commercial applications, visit HunterIndustries.com.